a very good afternoon to everybody today's video is about distillation in depth understanding of the pot still and the patent still why it is used how it is used and when it will be used the different distill beverages that you consume in the form of vodka tequila rum gin brandy it's all in this game of understanding how distillation takes place so come let's see and understand it distillation was first used to make perfumes so it's not from the fermented beverage like fermented liquid that we have seen but from flour scent and water now the arabs learned this trade from the greeks how did the greeks use it they used to boil down wine and this wine concentrate was used for medicinal purpose basically to sore heels the arabs advanced this technique of distillation even the word distillation is attributed to al buraksan an arabic alchemist of the 10th century did you know that in the middle age it was known as the aqua vitae the distill spirit we're talking about in france it is known as eau de vie in ireland and scotland it is known as ishkaba while in russia and poland it is known as the water of life the very principle of distillation is based on the fact that ethyl alcohol vaporizes at a much lower temperature 78 against 100 degrees that's the concept okay now let's understand the pot still the pot still originated in the middle age now it is associated with separate slow and low temperature distillation due to which the flavor and the aroma of the individual spirit will have a lot of character and appeal So flavor some spirits such as brandy, malt whiskey, dark rum, tequila and fine calvadoses are pot still done. The pot still is shaped like a giant onion and it consists of two parts, a still and a warm condenser. The still is made of copper which is a good conductor of heat and also builds up a strong resistance to the effect of acids which are normally capable of dissolving metals. The warm condenser is a spiral tube also made of copper. and this is connected to the still by a copper pipe the worm passes through a jacket or a condenser which speeds up the condensation of the alcohol rich vapor now let's understand the method the kettle is directly heated so the vapors will be collected into the head and they pass through a narrow tube uh, at the top of the swan from where the liquid goes into condensation now the first part of the distill is immersed which is known as the head then this contains high proportion of methanol which is toxic and unpalatable so this is dealt with later however what is important is the center part or the heart of the distill which is the best part at the alcoholic strength of 80% this heart will be later reduced to an alcoholic strength of 63% by addition of deionized water which does not react with the chemical elements of the spirit The last part which is the final part of the distill known as the tail is weak alcohol and has impurities. This is sent back to redistillation. The pros and cons now. The pot still is time consuming, costly to operate. It needs to be cooled, cleaned and refilled after each distillation. But it produces spirit of remarkable individuality, quality and flavor. The next still, the patent still Coffer still or continuous still is named after Mr Anis Coffer a Dublin excise officer who patented the still in 1831 It employs the principle of distillation by steam and uses rectification to make the end product as pure and congener free as possible It produces a continuous flow of high strength alcohol at 90% The patent still consists of two stainless steel columns each of about 18 meters high one column is called the analyzer whose role is to separate the constituent part the other is called the rectifier which raises the alcoholic strength of and purifies the spirit and condenses the alcohol vapors each column is subdivided horizontally into chambers by perforated copper plates which have a drip pipe leading to the chamber underneath both columns are preheated by steam and the fermented liquid or the wash enters from the top of the rectifier and gradually descends through it into the pipe by the time the wash reaches the bottom of the rectifier it is almost at the boiling point it is then pumped into the analyzer where it gradually makes its way downwards through perforated plates and bubble caps as this descends it is met by a current of raw steam which has been injected under pressure into the bottom of the analyzer on contact the steam boils the wash and produces alcoholic vapors 
as these vapors from the analyzer go into the rectifier inside the rectifier the alcoholic vapors pass through a series of perforated plates when the spirit vapors reach 2/3 of its way up to the rectifier they hit a coal spiral plate or a water frame and precipitate the first liquid to emerge is a head and this is removed and sent back to the analyzer because it is pungent and needs further refining the comparatively pure spirit which is followed is guided into a spirit collector this will be reduced in the alcoholic strength by addition of deionized water and matured for a short period of time now the pros and cons of the patent still it is cheaper than the pot still to operate as it is lighter on fuel because its system of operation is continuous it does not require labor intensive task of emptying cleaning and refilling the patent still is associated with all light spirits such as vodka gin white rum light rum the grain whiskies which are later used for blending do you know where the largest pot still distillery is yes it is in ireland the old middleton distillery which is in cork it has a capacity of 140000 liters but it is no longer in use before i end this session two questions for you do you know what aldehyde means and what is ester write the answers in the comment section for me to see until the next video stay healthy stay safe see you again bye bye for now